By now it was mid-October, and some of the leaves were hitting the ground running. It was the fire of fall. A lot of trees had turned, but there were plenty left to go. And Allie and I had a cabin adventure planned in the southern Berkshire Mountains. And as we packed to leave, Allie's grandpa and some other locals walked by the office. I was unpacking a canoe that Old Town had sent me over the summer that I never ended up having a chance to use. Old Town, yeah. And though I thought it was safe under the thick plastic, turns out it wasn't sealed tight. Hey, That's my car right behind your building if you need to move it. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, it was. So we dumped it out, and I gotta say, the water didn't seem to affect it much. And while Allie packed up a bunch of her handmade products from her Etsy store, I replaced the jack on the old snowmobile trailer and loaded up the rover for departure. The truth is that Old Blue went down on the way home from Stowe last trip. We were nearly back when I pulled into a rest stop, and as I was pulling out, the steering lost all function. And so we slept in the cab until the tow truck came in the morning. I'm just grateful it didn't happen while we were moving fast. So with Old Blue down and in need of a steering box, it was time for the old Land Rover to step up. And so with most of our gear organized, I went down to check on Allie and help her pack up some orders. So this isn't a cabin I would normally stay in with just two people. It's huge, and really meant for families or groups of people. But when the owner reached out and I saw the photos for the first time, my eyes widened. It was unlike anything I had ever seen. It's gonna look really cool. It was just down the road in South County, so Allie and I could explore some new spots close to home that we would otherwise never see and do it all from an epic log cabin base camp. It was right on a hillside in a quaint little town, yet totally secluded by trees on all sides, with a giant porch that faced west. It was a cabin palace. Wow. Wow. First thing I thought was that this would be a perfect place for a Friendsgiving or a Christmas get together with the gang. And if everyone split the cost, it would be doable and make for an unforgettable memory. Wow, it's really meant for like huge family get togethers. Foliage in South County was looking pretty good. 
though there was plenty of green trees and time left before peak color. Right away, this little shed with a fire pit in the corner of the yard caught my eye. I knew I wanted to do something special here before we left. So we arrived just before the sun went down and ran around the property with giant grins, getting a lay of the land, mesmerized by the endless rooms and quirky attributes of the place. drove down into the little town for sunset and admired the river from the bridge before heading home to build a fire, cook dinner, and get to bed early. And as the eve grew darker, the cabin grew cozier. And the next morning, we woke to that peaceful autumn fog.
and I made coffee and explored some more while Allie did some filming and prepped breakfast. After we filled up on Allie's delicious blueberry banana pancakes and coffee, we ran around like kids, enjoying the space for all it had to offer. Whoever built this must have been eccentric, and some of the attributes, like this mini indoor pool, must have some interesting stories behind them. And all the while, autumn continued to fall all around us. And to kick off our afternoon adventures, we drove to a nearby hike that was only about five minutes away, one of the countless beautiful trails in southern Berkshire County. And after a serene stroll by the Clam River, we headed towards some nearby villages to grab a snack before getting lost on some back roads.
and there were some beautiful old farm-to-table restaurants nearby that we wanted to make sure we checked out this winter. But Allie had a special home-cooked meal planned for us tonight. We scouted out a nearby lake that we wanted to paddle in before heading home. And before we left, we walked the trail around the lake, admiring the fall colors. Another good one. <laughs> Going further. So I started a fire and strung lights, and Allie put together a charcuterie board and cider mimosas. And we talked until the world turned blue. We've been working nonstop this fall with no days off. And that happens every autumn. Because even on beautiful trips like this, we're shooting the entire time. So I deeply cherish the little in-between moments on these adventures. After the camera stops rolling, and we both let out a deep sigh, and look at each other in the eye, and talk about how truly grateful we are for this life. Staying at a cabin palace with the girl you love in the fall is an experience to be forever cherished. And I store these memories in a safe place in the corner of my mind. dinner of roasted chicken, potatoes, and asparagus was like a warm hug on that chilly October evening. And the next morning, we were greeted with a speckled blue sky and a little bit of red October. And on the way out, Allie asked if we could stop and try the tire swing. And I thought about how I'm glad to have a companion who loves the same details as I and catches them when I don't. off to the lake before heading home and jumping right back in the editing bay.
Regardless of work and responsibilities back home, we found solace in that golden October morning.